This is an introduction to configuring your Ubuntu firewall with the firewall UFW. UFW is an acronym for Uncomplicated Firewall. It's an easier way of configuring your uh, Ubuntu firewall without using IP tables and net filter. So let's go ahead and get started and do some uh, basic common commands. As we said, uh, UFW stands for Uncomplicated Firewall. It's an easier way of configuring your firewall on Ubuntu. Um, before we start opening up the firewall and start uh, putting in our rules, the first thing we want to do is uh, do a default deny on everything so that we can deny all incoming traffic. So I just so happen to have it here. Press, you just do a sudo ufw default deny. You have to put in sudo because uh, in order to configure your firewall you're going to need root rights, at least temporarily. So we just press enter and as you see we got a screen that comes up that says default incoming policy change to deny. That means all incoming bound traffic or in all inbound traffic will be denied until we configure the firewall. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing you want to do is see if the firewall is uh, up and running. So you do a sudo ufw status. Press enter. Firewall is inactive. So you want to activate your firewall by doing a sudo ufw enable. Firewall is active and enabled on your on the system startup so that means from now on when you close down your system when you open it back up UFW will be up and running automatically it'll be in the start script, startup script okay um, let's see the next thing we can do is um, let's go ahead and start putting in the rule let's say that you've uh, just built a, a web server and you want to open up just one port which is usually port 80 let's go ahead and make a rule for uh, port 80 so that'll be sudo ufw allow now if you just want to do uh, port 80 and under the TCP you do an 80 forward slash TCP press enter rule has been added now to see that rule, you just do a sudo ufw status. And as you can see, that rule has been created. And you can do this for any rule, for uh, any port. If you, need, if you created an FTP server and you wanted to uh, open up the port for that, which is uh, port 23, then we do the same thing. sudo ufo. has been added then you just go ahead and do a status and as you can see all of your rules are in there all right now let's say you've taken down your uh, your um, your web server and your FTP server and you're no longer uh, using it so you want to go ahead and deny and then delete those uh, rules and uh, the syntax for that is just as simple. It'll be a sudo ufw, and then to deny it, it's going to be deny port 80 forward slash tcp. Uh oh, tcp. Press enter. Rule has been updated. Now let's just go ahead and look at the status and see what happened. As you can see, Port 80 has been denied. Now, if you want to go ahead and delete it, you can go ahead and delete it this way. Sudo ufw delete deny. Press enter. Rule has been deleted. So let's go ahead and look at the status. 
status and as you can see the rule has been deleted same thing for uh, TCP 23 and that's going to be first we're going to need to deny it first It's denying, so it's denying all inbound traffic for uh, port 23. And then to delete it, <coughs> excuse me, you do a delete the deny port. And as you can see, there's nothing in there. All right. Now, once you've set your rules, those were the basic syntax for. Uh, allowing and denying different ports. Oh, one other thing we want to go over. Let's go ahead and do the use the port 80 again as an example. Let's say you just want to open up the port one port. It doesn't have to be 80. Whatever port you decide. All right, and you want to open up uh, ports for both TCP and UDP. Then you would use that uh, that rule. Okay, sudo ufw allow port 80. Press enter. Rule is added. Check the status. And as you can see, it you uh, you allow a rule for uh, both incoming and outgoing uh, traffic for port 80, which means uh, you'll be able to use uh, you'll be able to. Uh, open up a uh, TCP and UDP protocol for port 80. Alright, and so other than that, once you have set your rules for your firewall through UFW, you can uh, go ahead and do a reload. That's just going to be a sudo, the syntax for that is sudo UFW space reload. firewall has been reloaded. If you decide that you want to go ahead, you don't need this firewall or you're going to use something else, you might decide to use the GUI. There is also a GUI for uh, UFW uh, under the GNOME uh, uh, desktop is GUFW. Okay. If you decide that you want to close this, you don't want to use this one anymore, you can just do a uh, disable. This will go ahead and shut off your firewall. And that's a sudo UFW disable. Firewall has stopped and disabled on the system startup. So it's turned off. It won't even come back on unless you decide to turn it back on. Which, as we know, you turn it back on through UF, uh, sudo UFW enable. And that turns back on your firewall. So that's how you. Uh, that's a basic. That's a basic uh, tutorial on how you can open rules, how you can allow them, deny them, and delete them when you get ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. I first have to deny it. updated now we want to delete the deny rule okay so we look at our status okay and so that's how we uh, deny a rule and delete it uh, it seems like with this syntax for UFW if you want to delete something you have to deny it first and then delete it I, I could be wrong about that but that's been my experience Okay, now, the only other thing I want to tell you is if you decide that you want to look up more information about UFW and see all the rules that you can, uh, that you can uh, um, uh, apply, you can go to the man page for, MA for UFW, and that's uh, M-A-N-U-F-W, and then enter, and you'll see some more information about it. Uh, there is one other place where you can find out 
information about UFW and that's to go online and you can go to this website here UFW is uh, exclusive uh, only to uh, uh, Ubuntu distributions um, you just go to this website and you can learn more information about it uh, it also like I said before it also has a GUI you can also learn about the GUI at this website so go there and learn more about UFW and that is the end of this uh, video thank you